just start off by saying that hate is a strong word, yet somehow it's not strong enough to show my disdain towards final exam. I get there's a purpose to it and it's important to gauge a student's learning, but I can't handle this stress. That's supposed to be my heart beating. My semester's over and I'm technically on summer break, even though I have one high school class and also I'm taking summer classes, so I really don't get a break. But I thought this was a good time to reflect on my wonderful week. So before final week begins, I've mentioned this in a previous video, but teachers just assign things because you know at the end of the year we gotta crank it up a notch and so you end up with like a thousand times more work than you had in the first place. At first you're like, okay, yeah, this is pretty difficult semester, you know, but I'm doing all right. I got straight A's and then suddenly BAM 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 essay TEST uh, And you think you have straight A's and you're all Gucci Then suddenly And you're like what happened? First we had my English exam Which I took the class online and then for the test it wasn't proctored It was just a test on vocabulary and I could use my book So that didn't cost me much stress Next is digital media class So it's intro to digital media It's an art elective class, okay? So you'd think Oh, super easy. Just do your projects and you get a hundred. No. On the first day of class, he's like, I don't give out hundreds. <laughs> so I figured, I'm sure it'll be fine. He probably just gives 99s and 90s. My first project, I got a 79. A 79? You can't even give me an 80. You give me a 79. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea, you know, preparing for the real world. But the thing is, this is an intro class. Not all of us in there are gonna be graphic designers. And he knows this, cause it's intro to digital media as a whole. I'm doing it for like video editing stuff. We didn't have an exam. We had a final project. So we had to make like a skateboard design. I'll put mine here. I like based it off of Voltron, which is one of my favorite shows. The thing is, I had no idea what to expect with my grade for this one because instead of putting like a percentage or a point system, like with most teachers putting in the grades on Blackboard, he just puts in B. B! How am I supposed to know what that means? For the beginning parts of the class, you put like 79, 96, 94, etc. And so I just add those up and then divide it and just go off of that because nothing worth waiting. For the project before this one, he just put B. B! He didn't put a percentage, he didn't put like this out of this, just B. I have no idea what that B means. It could be like an 81, it could be an 89. I don't know, it just says B and it drives me freaking insane. For the last project, I don't know how screwed I am. What, what frustrates me more is that when we showed it in class, he was even like, oh, this is good. Then why'd you give me a B, buddy? Class that gave me the most stress with an elective class. So my next exam, that was actually an exam, was for history. And it was a multiple choice with Scantron. What was nice about this one is it wasn't cumulative. I love teachers that don't make their exams cumulative. I barely remember what I had for breakfast, let alone what we learned in the beginning of the semester. I thought I was good to go in this class. I thought I had an A. So I wake up at 3 a.m. from a nightmare that I checked my grades online and that the teacher for my history class added in four quiz grades at zeros and that my grade dropped like dramatically. I wake up and like the only way to just stop my panicking is just to check my grades and make sure that there is no fork with grades because my brain is just like fork with grades zero how did you do this of course there's no fork with grades zero but this class that i thought i had an a in i suddenly had a b in i don't know what happened me. So I check because there's like an online calculator where you can be like, oh, how much do I have to get on this exam? It told me I'd have to get 103 on my exam in order to get an A in the class. He had one extra credit assignment where he had to answer some questions about McCarthy about. He said it was due to him in class on the day of the exam and I hadn't started it so I started at 3 a.m. and finished it at 5 a.m. and went back to bed to wake up for my class at 7 a.m. I go to my class, I have my extra credit printed out, 
in my bag. I'm kind of a zombie. I'm using Quizlet to study. It tells us that the extra credit isn't due until May 1st. Please, please, please take it. I took the test. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I guess because I did that studying thing. Except for the one question at the end. And he's like, the last question, the trick question. The question was, was this class awesome? Not when you ask questions like that, buddy. I panic over this one question. What did he want us to say? I would just think, oh yeah, you just say yes and then it boosts their ego or whatever. But then he also said it was a trick question, so does he expect us all to be like, oh yeah, suck up to the professor, and then, huh, no, I, I want the honesty. It doesn't really matter, I got a 96. Wednesday, I had no school, so I just worked on my math homework because my teacher made everything due on the day of the final. It wasn't like I left it all to the last minute. I did actually work on it. I still had the unit quiz, the unit test, and then a practice test for the final where if you took it, it would drop your lowest test grade. I did the unit quiz and unit tests and homeworks or whatever, but the practice test is what was really stressing me out. Cause of course, it's cumulative. There's this like annuity thing, really annoying formula, and it's like difficult to put a calculator. I can't do this, I, I, can't give, I give up. I just gave up. Whatever happens, happens, you know? And what happens that I get a hundred. I guess the moral of the story is that you shouldn't stress as much. It's not as bad as you might think, but I mean, I, I still have anxiety. I'm not even gonna listen to myself. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video. And if you didn't, then, well, I'm doing Venom, so I'm making a new video every day. So maybe tomorrow you'll enjoy something. So, yeah, see you tomorrow, bye.